welcome to this tutorial in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create curved beam at times in the architectural plan you're going to be having some beams that are very curved so this is our structure we have created a very simple structure that I have created to illustrate this curved beam for you and also I will insert curved slab in this particular structure now this part here is where I'm going to insert curved beam now from here to here there is a curved beam from here to here there's a curved beam from here to here there's a curved beam so if you've not watched our previous tutorial do watch our previous tutorial to see how we came about this grid this beams and every other thing that we have created so I'm not going to repeat that so quickly I'm going to go to my beam properties so I'm going to go to my beam properties I'm going to click my beam now my beam is two to five but this at this my first floor here the beam is 450 deep so i'm going to type in 450 deep beam here so now i want to create this particular beam i'm going to click zoom in a little bit with my scroll button at my mouse if your mouse has a scroll button at the middle that is the the, the function to give you the zoom so i'm going to click to insert a beam but as i'm pulling away i'm going to hold down my sheet key on my keyboard and when it gets to this other column i'm going to release and also release that of my keyboard that i've been holding now this beam insertion and offset option pops up now we have the parallel offset and we have also the the i joint and the j joint now these is when you are going to be offsetting the beam that you are going to create remember we are going to be creating a curved beam now which is going to look like this before you create your curved beam you have to get the radius or the the the, the arc properties or the curve properties from your architectural design in my case i've got my mine is 5000 that was given to me the curve is a little bit flat because the curve is the radius is quite big so i'm going to come to this my curved beam insertion so i have a radius if you have the chord offset you can you guys have the center you can use that so i'm going to create that of the radius now if i type my 5000 here i'm going to type my 5000 now you see what is being created by this bit let me move this a little bit away move this a little bit away so that you can see let me just move it a little bit so you can see what is being created this is the curve now but the curve is going on the inside of my slab whereas it's supposed to be on the reverse of the which is supposed to be on this other part of the structure so it's curving outward not inward so in order to do that i'm going to insert a negative here so I'm going to put negative there now if I put negative now the curve reverses the other way around now the center of the curve now becomes inside my slab and the, the beam now becomes outward now that is the beauty of this Orion now you understand values of negative and positive now you see all values here as change to negative now if I put a positive value it's going to turn to my uh, the inside but if I put a negative value is going to turn outwards so this is my particular number of segment I want it to be very fine the curve should be very beautiful because the curve is segmented now if you look at it critically this where my cursor is you see there is a little segment that has been created which is six but I want it to be very beautiful I'm, I'm going to put ten of it now is the curve it becomes very perfect if you can make it to be higher you can pull 15 to make the curve to be very smooth now the curve becomes very very smooth so that is why this curve segment is important so i'm i'm done with all of my settings so i move this a little bit away now if you see this is the radius and the diagram also illustrate how to use this particular beam insertion and offset option dialog box that normally pops up so i'm done with all of my settings so i'm going to say okay it's creating the beam 
-hmm. now it's creating the beam segment by segment it's creating the beam it's taking some time to create the beam it's taking some time to create the beam that is going to pop up very soon so it's taking some time to create the beam takes some now it's done so this is the beam now the beam looks so smooth as we have created because we made it to be 10 now I'm going to do the same for this and also for this now when I'm done we're going to see what we have done now the same thing I'm going to left click on this my column as I pull away there's a rubber band so I'm going to get to this other column now I'm going to hold down my shift key before releasing my mouse button that I've been holding down so I'm going to release it it comes up again this same dollar box pops up so I'm going to make it negative as you have done which is negative 5000 this is a millimeter so I've been wanting I want it to be 15 segments as we have created before I'm going to click on OK and it creates them so that is is creating the segments it's creating the segment by segment which is going to be it was 15 segments because the segment is going to make this particular beam to be very smooth because the curves are created with a particular now is this the second one is done which is 5000 so i'm going to do for the the third i'm going to go over to the third i'm going to hold my sheet key down repeat same process i'm going to release then pops up so i'm going to go back to my radius i'm going to insert my value we are using 5000 and 15 the segments to be 15 so when i'm done i'm going to click on ok now if you see the center is located inside now so that is the beauty of using this values either positive or negative as i've explained before so i'm going to say okay create it i'm done with this particular beam so it's creating the segments and it's coming up each segment is going to be creating so it's creating 15 of that particular segment to make the curve and the beam very smooth so when it's done we're going to turn it to with you so that you can see and appreciate what we have done so far each segment is coming up it's coming up with each segment and this segment is created so this is it so i'm going to make it to become 3d now so i'm going to turn it to 3d so this is the beams that we have created so this is the beauty of making a curved beam because the architectural plan made a curved beam so i'm going to make for only this floor then you're going to make for other floors so i'm going to go back to my plan so i'm going to insert slabs so i'm going to click on that put my slab my slab is 150 so i'm going to insert slab make it 25 watch our previous videos for we have inserted slab before so this is a curved slab now i'm inserting a curved slab so this is it so now you can see the yield lines have changed for this particular slab because this place is curved that is it guys on how to create a curved beam and a curved slab on orion structure so i'm going to turn it 3d so you can see how beautiful it is so you can go ahead you create all of these other slabs and these other beams so i just created this one for you to see how it's being done that is it guys so now to create curved beam and slabs on orion structures Give us a thumbs up if you like our video and also subscribe to our channel for more tutorial videos coming up. See you in our next tutorial video.